Hi guys, I hope you're really, really well. Okay, we're gonna cook something so scrumptious, so delicious. It comes up a lot in comments online, and that is a recipe for toad in the hole. Yes, you heard it right, toad in the hole. So the toad, theoretically, is a sausage, and you roast it up with a beautiful batter that you pour inside, and that gives you a Yorkshire pudding. I'm gonna make a beautiful gravy to go with it, with some steamed greens. Happy days. First up, I've got nine beautiful sausages. So the first sausage, I'll put the big pan here on a medium heat, and then I'll squeeze the sausage out of the skin. And of course, the quality of your sausage makes all the difference. Go for a big one, because who doesn't like a big sausage? We're gonna fry this sausage, and we're gonna break it up with a spoon. So let that do its thing. The eight sausages left go into that tray. I'm gonna give it a little kiss with oil. And then in this tray, I want about half a centimetre of oil. So with the sausage here, just toss them up like that. So I'm gonna cook the sausages for 10 minutes. I'll also put this tray in as well to preheat the oil, right? Because one of the things about having a really good Yorkshire pudding is having that heat. So in it goes, back to this little story here. Next up, three onions. I'll just slice them up like this. I've gone quite fine, but if you wanna kind of go a bit more rustic on the onions, that's absolutely fine. We can now give it a generous seasoning with pepper. I'll turn them down to a medium heat, fry them for about 20 minutes, okay? I'm crying, I'm emotional about it, but we wanna get the lovely flavor out of the sausage into the onion. So we're gonna make the most beautiful, simple, light Yorkshire pudding batter with a twist, okay? So I've got 700 grams of plain flour, good pinch of salt. Then I've got 500 mils of beautiful organic whole milk. And then, here's the twist, 450 milliliters of good beer. Could be a lager. I've gone for a beautiful wheat beer. Nice and fruity, nice and fresh. So all I wanna do now is whisk it up. Then we're gonna go in with our eggs. So in we go with 14 large free range eggs. That's gonna give it the rise and kind of come out of the tray and make it fluffy. Whisk it in till it's nice and silky smooth. We need to get this batter into the two trays in as quick a time as possible, safely. So what you can do is just pour some of this batter, half of it, into a jug. And now put them somewhere where you can get to it easy when you open the door. So last but not least, rosemary. I'm gonna put some rosemary in each tray. So just a little handful like that. Right, let's do this. Okay, nice and calm, nice and quick. So in with half of the rosemary like that. Look at it frying. I'll do exactly the same on these sausages here, like that. I'll take this jug first, so pour that batter in and around the sausages, just like that. So that goes back on the top, and then for this second tray, we'll go in with the rest of the batter. And I'll fill it up about two centimeters off the bottom, and then I'll put this under here. Door closed, don't touch it. Once you close the door, don't go back to it for 30 minutes. Leave it, because you want to keep that pressure, that temperature in there, and that's how you get that amazing kind of growth of the Yorkshire pudding. So the way to take these beautiful onions to the next level is a couple of little tricks. First up, brown sauce. Two tablespoons of the sauce goes in. Grab a little bit of whole grain mustard, just a teaspoon. Thickening agent, we're gonna use flour. So two heaped tablespoons of plain flour goes in. I'm gonna go in with one chicken stock cube. Chicken or beef, doesn't matter. And then we'll stir it all in. And then I've just got a boiled kettle here. You want about 700 milliliters to a litre of water. I'll just keep that slowly going over until that's ready in about 20, 25 minutes. Happy days. So the toad in the hole is nearly ready. I'm very, very excited. It doesn't matter how many times I've made this, I get excited every time. I think I'll take a little ladle, this gravy, and just pour it in. Look at that, beautiful. Got the steamed greens. Come on, let's do this. Look at that! Come on! Yes! So here we have the beautiful toad in the hole. Stodgier, a bit lower. And then, this is the reason that I've gone double whammy. Look at this. Come on! Crispy, gorgeous, golden. Right, let's get in there. Slice this up. I just love this dish. So there we go. The gorgeous sausage. Nice little bit of curly kale. Let's go over with some of this epic epic rustic gravy. And of course, as you're indulging in that, then you get in here, just rip off a nice little hunk. Guys, double whammy. Big Yorkie, toad in the hole, mega gravy, 
few bits of green on the side. When you feel really hungry, the weather's a bit miserable, you know, you get a bit of Yorkshire pudding. So good. I want to see you guys doing this. Get amongst it and have a little try. Happy days. <laughs>